the image is a great uh, image model. Many people found it really powerful. One of the best thing about it is that it's easy to train LoRa and use it. In this video, let's see how to download and use the LoRa on Comfy UI. I actually trained a LoRa for the image and hosting it on Hugging Face. We will use it as an example. If you are not familiar with LoRa, LoRa is basically a extension that allows you to customize the model. In this case, after my fine tuning, the LoRa allows the model to learn how to draw the pencil sketch. And there are many other, many other LoRa. They basically can be used the same way. So if you go to the Hugging Face and search for the Z Image Turbo Pencil Sketch, you can find my LoRa there. And uh, here is some examples. I think it's quite straightforward. It's, I trained it using some uh, pencil arts, so that way it uh, learned how to draw that in a certain style. If you are on Hugging Face, you can go to the files and the versions. You can see that there is a Save Tensors file. So this one, you can just download it. Or if you are on a server, you can click on it. And there is a download link. So this one gives you the link. OK, copy it. And you go to your terminal, and you change your directory to your Comfy UI installation or location. And change the directory to the models, to the LoRa. And then you download that using the link. And press Enter. Yeah, and that's basically it. You can see that it's already downloaded the, the LoRa onto my local Comfy UI model LoRa directory. So that way I can use it. You can now restart your Comfy UI and make sure that uh, you uh, reload your Comfy UI. So if you are in a web browser, you can press the refresh or you can press the keyboard, the R letter to refresh it. OK, so you see the update. You can load the workflow on my website, or you can build it from the Z image workflow. And uh, notice that there is the checkpoint is here, the load diffusion model is this one. Or if you want to save some VRAM, you can use the GGUF, this is this one too. In either case, you will start to load the LoRa. How to do it is you double click on the web browser and then search for it, type the LoRa, search for it, and there's a load the LoRa loader model only, so this one. And then you can connect uh, them, connect uh, with the diffusion model, and then connect uh, to the sampling here. So in this case, you will need uh, to click on it to se select the Z image we just uh, downloaded, pencil sketch, so this one. All right, So and I think that's it. So that's all you needed to do. So basically, this node is important. I change it to a, maybe a color different. OK, I change it to green, all right? And then you can start to type your prompt. We can say that a pencil sketch of a woman. And then we can press the run to start running it. Yep. By the way, this is running on uh, 5090. Yeah, I think it uh, looks uh, quite uh, nice. Click it on it again. Yeah, so basically, two seconds to generate an image. That's really nice. You can try with a different uh, prompt. So I think it's basically uh, working really nice. Yeah, and you can see that it's very similar to what we can see on the profile page of the model. He's here, right? So you can adapt it to different prompts. And I think that's really the powerful of the LoRa. So basically, you can use that to customize the Z image model. And uh, if we want to do a comparison, so for example, we can disable it. So you can right click on it 
and there is a bypass. So this one, click on that. So this way it can be disabled. And then we just regenerate it using the same prompt. And then we can do a comparison. Yeah, so as you can see, um, so, so this one, so basically the top one is the one generated by the model itself. The bottom one is generated using the LoRa. So we can clearly see how the LoRa can make an impact. So I think that's really powerful. Uh, yes, I think that's basically it. I will upload uh, this uh, workflow to my GitHub repo. So please grab it if you have a question about the work workflow. And I think there are so many things that you can customize. So feel free to do that. Um, thank you very much. Please subscribe to the channel for my future content. And especially, I plan to upload a, a tutorial on how to train the Laura for the Z image. Stay tuned. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumb up and share it. Please subscribe to the channel for future content. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.